Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, February 5th, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, <clears throat> sorry, we have continued the rally here, but this is probably as far as this will go. And the reason why I say that is due to the fact that we are going to run into major resistance in the weekly chart, which I'm going to show in a little moment. Furthermore, we are trading at 91.49, and these technical indicators, some of them are showing signs of exhaustion. For example, the stochastic here is becoming flat. CCI is still bullish. Stochastic as uh, MACD is still bullish. Um, and the RSI is also becoming fairly flat. And we are only on the edge of being our bot. So a pullback from here, we'll probably find support here at the 90.59 at the 20 exponential. Break below that opens the door to these very lows. And if you look, for example, at the Bollinger Band for this, you can see that we are way outside here of the Bollinger Band. So this could be a uh, Friday could be a very, very good day for some um, some uh, 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 currency pairs, I'm supposed to say, for example, the, the Great British Pound Euro, the Euro US dollar and uh, the US uh, Swedish Crown and the Norwegian Krona. Most of those um, smaller currencies will have a massive day if this starts to fall all the way down to the 20 exponential. And the reason why I say that is because if we look on the weekly chart, we are going to run into the 20 exponential here in the weekly chart at the middle of the bullish band. Last time we did that was right over here and we just collapsed uh, all the way down to the downside. Same goes for here and, and we almost got to that point there. So this is going to be a, a pivot point. If we break through this, then we are going all the way up towards the 94.70. Two, and that will have major implication, implications uh, for many currency pairs, also commodities, stocks, and so on. However, I think that this is going to be an area where we'll find major resistance and it will pull back towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band here. So let's look at oil. We'll start by looking at the daily chart. And as you can see, we are way outside of the Bollinger Band here. And there is expected to be uh, quite a big pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. That's a fall of roughly three dollars. Um, so, from fifty six point twenty three at the current stage to twenty uh, fifty three, that is very likely at this point. Technical indicators are turning around. We are significantly um, overbought here. So, a uh, major pullback towards the middle here. That is very likely. However. Long-term target here is 60. Until we get to 60, we are, gonna, we are probably just going to see pullbacks on the way. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we have rallied yet again today. So weather conditions, they are very cold. And that is very uh, bullish for this, uh, for natural gas. If you look at technical indicators, they are very bullish. We are on the edge of being our bot. However, we are significantly overstretched here. So this market just goes parabolical when weather conditions change, especially to when it becomes very cold, then demand, um, demand can become extremely high and that pressures this price up. However, we're trading underneath three. So until we get there and break above that, we're not going to 3.5. But if this continues, then we can see much, much, much higher levels. However, we are very overstretched at this point and are expecting a pullback. So let's look at copper. So as you can see, we have tried to rally, ran into resistance here at the 20 exponential at 3.57 and then broke down again and now are trading underneath the 50 moving average, which is a very bad sign for copper. Technical indicators, they are all over the place. So until we break above the 20 exponential, uh, there's no reason to enter a buy here. I don't expect this to pull uh, to uh, break down significantly. If the US dollar starts to, to depreciate, then that was very bullish for this, for copper. So let's look at gold, because gold had a massive day today. So yes, welcome to this. Um, well, if I put up my analysis for 
this channel here then gold completely broke out well the wrong way i was not expecting gold to break to the downside but as you can see we rallied we we trended all the way into the corner of the channel i was expecting a rally to the upside however it broke to the downside it broke also several other major resistance level for example the 300 moving average also broke through that at this point we're trading at 1793 um we are very very overstretched and um, we can get rid of this line because that is broken at this point a much more realistic scenario is that we are going to trend the trade like this all the way down to roughly 1670 that is probably where we could go so next target here is roughly um, 7050 then the 70 and then all the way down to this lower part here so this could be the new channel that gold is going to uh, trading we'll see uh, if that is the case we'll uh, fall down all the way to this level here that is also coincided with these uh, previous levels here but it looks like gold is not going to rally it is going to break down to the downside um yes we'll see but i would think in the long run that the massive spending the massive printing of money and so on should be bullish for gold um, however i think people are putting money into cryptocurrencies as a safe haven instead of gold at this point technical indicators are very bearish at this point however we are very overstretched so expect a minor pullback before we continue further down so let's look at silver so as you can see we have uh, rallied a little bit and then broke down so we are right here at the 20 exponential it is holding and uh, we are we haven't tested the 50 moving average yet but the uh, 20 exponential is holding we are also trading above that technical indicators are very bearish at this point so we could go a little bit lower i think that the 20 the 50 moving average is a major support and also possible buying opportunity in order to target roughly 27 and probably all the way in the long run to 30. so let's look at platinum So we have broken down and then rallied again, and now we're above the 20 exponential moving average. And this is a very uh, bullish shine for platinum. At this point, technical indicators are still very bearish. So we need the CCI and the stochastic to turn around in order to indicate that we are about to go higher. But because we found major support here, that's a very good sign that we most likely will rally to the upside instead of breaking down. If you do break down, then a 50 moving average here at 10.51 is going, most likely going to be a significant support. So let's look at Pallium. So as you can see, we have started to trending uh, towards the 20 exponential moving average. And uh, this is just a continuation of this move that we have been in for a very, very long time. All the way back in August, we started trending up and down here and uh, we reached the bottom here last friday and now we are going to trend up towards the 20 exponential if that breaks we're going to the 50 and if that breaks we're going to the old time highs here so this is a lot of choppiness if you um want to trade this you basically need to have a very wide stop loss for example in order not to trigger it constantly um, and you need to enter at these points for example here here and also here i wouldn't even think about entering at any point in the middle here so in all of this range here there are roughly five trades or six trades one is here in order to buy one is here to sell buy sell and then we have another buy here another sell here another buy here so we'll most likely go towards a 2.5 but it's going to take well several weeks to get to that point so let's look at uh, aluminium so we have started rallying we did not break towards 1900 we have broken through the 20 exponential trading underneath the 50 and these technical indicators have turned around 
quite significantly. Really fast, for example, the CGI has turned around like, well, it was pointing straight down and now we are, we are, it's pointing um, like we are going to rally above the 50. If we manage to take out these previous highs here of 2019, then we're going to these previous highs of 2071. However, we are still trending underneath the 50 moving average. So we need to take that out in, and we trend above that in order to determine that these are going to act as support and not resistant. A break below here, a break below, for example, 1944, that opens the door to these previous lows of 1930 and then to all the way down to 1900. So let's look at nickel. So as you can see, we continue to go gradually lower towards the 50 moving average. And this is got probably as low as this is going to get. We are most likely going to see uh, quite a big rally up towards 18,422 uh, and um, not a test of the 50 moving average. So you can see this pullback here. That is basically buyer entering this because they think that this a pullback is coming here at the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are also slowly turning around. MACD, stochastic are still bearish. CCI is flat and the RSI is flat. So this is most likely a buying opportunity. It is possible to enter here with a stop loss underneath the 50. If the 50 breaks, then we'll probably go significantly lower. So let's look at sugar. So we tested a 50 and the 20 exponential moving average, rallied, and uh, yes, at the moment, technically there are all over the place. However, because we pulled back, the, uh, rallied this significantly when we tested the 20, we are most likely going to the upside. It is fairly unlikely that we will break below the 20 exponential and head towards the 50 at this point. Uh, if we do, then that is an even better buying opportunity. We are in uptrend and every single time we touch the 20 or 50, we rally. So expect a rally here towards roughly 0 0.1646 and then towards uh, 1669. So let's look at cotton. So cotton, yes, we have rallied. We this was expected. We are hanging around here at the 20 exponential, and usually when you don't break down, you just see a massive rally to the upside. You can see that technical indicators are very bullish. However, we are on the edge of being over the bottom at this point. If you look at the Bollinger Band, we are significantly overstretched. So we are most likely going to see a pullback towards these previous highs here. That is roughly at 0 0.8211. And then you'll see this turn around again to the upside. So to buy it here is way too risky. You need um, a pullback at least towards the middle here or the 20 exponential in order to enter this market. So let's look at COA. So as you can see, we are still in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we have the highs here of 2.8 and the lows here of 2.2. And we're just trading in the middle here with the highs of roughly 2.6 and the lows of 2.457. If you are into uh, very choppy trading with a very high uh, leverage, then yes, this is probably something for you. However, I would never ever enter this market when it's behaving in this fashion. Entry here for a sell is possible. Entry here for a buy is also possible. So let's look at wheat. So as you can see, we have broken down quite substantially towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band and also where the 50 moving average is. So I do expect a turnaround here towards the upside. Uh, we can see that most technical indicators are still very bearish but I don't think that we're going to break the 50. We can saw the last time we tested the 50, we pulled back quite significantly, and now we're just going to most likely going to gradually go back to the upside. So stop loss right underneath here, and a target of roughly 691. That is uh, the trade that I'm looking for. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you.